Welcome everyone back to Victoria 2 Heart of Darkness episode 9 and actually let me turn my music back on because I played a little bit and I turned music off game options audio there we go right back where we wanted it sorry I forgot about that until just now but here we go we're back, Victoria 2. Over the past couple of days, a lot has transpired, off-camera, of course. And some of it I'm going to try to briefly go over, but I don't want to get too caught up in it. Basically, I still want to continue our goals, expand our Navy as much as possible to its full potential, and increase relations with other great powers like France, maybe Austria, Prussia, Russia, you know, forget Spain, and we don't really need Italy and the Ottomans, yuck. But, here we go. We're going to play on two, I suppose. The latest newspaper. Blah, 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 blah. Somebody's went bankrupt. So, yeah. I've come up with a new plan. Why are we losing money? I've come up with a new plan to beat Canada to annex Canada, mind you. And I'd like to quickly try and go over that. But one of the big factors in it is infamy. So I'm going to try and give you a brief tutorial on infamy. Do we have any ships building? Uh, cotton is has a high reputation. We don't need a high relation with the German states. There we go. But yeah, infamy. If you look at the top politics tab. It's the fourth one to the right. It has the Democratic Party and things right above where that little thing is. The little red flag there. Infamy. 0, 0.00. When you have infamy, I'm going to try and sum this up as best I can. So organizing my navy. When you have infamy, You, you can have up to 25 infamy, and how you gain infamy, mostly through wars. Like, it's really hard to explain infamy, it's also called bad boy, but you get it through wars. For example, annexing a state in a war costs 10 infamy. And... Nice. Annexing a state costs 10, conquering a country costs 22, things like that, and the max you can have is 25. I'll read this incident real quick. Uh, a colonial regiment in one of our colonies has had an encounter with a regiment of another colonial power, which had, according to a military report, crossed into our colonial claim on an obscure waterway. A fair distance into the colony's hinterland, the report further goes on to state that this foreign regiment was, when encountered by our patrol, in the process of conducting a geological survey of the area, the object of which is as of yet unknown to us. Hawkish members of our war cabinet see this as a direct assault on the USA's territorial integrity and call for the execution of a plan they have te termed, quite simply, Operation American Fury. We gain a place in the sun, Cass's belly, on Denmark. And, or we become in favor of jingoism. Wow, actually, guys, forget my infamy talk. Wait, is Greenmar Greenland is a place in the sun? Guys, Iceland and Greenland are kind of teamed up, but guys, they're all Icelandic, but oh my, this is actually very big. Very big for us. Um, Yeah, we just got caught here by surprise. Okay. Do you want to... Oh man, I have to make an on-the-spot on decision here. Do we want to try and annex Greenland? Wait, who are they allied with? Germany? They're not allied with anybody. Denmark is not allied with anyone. Oh man, this is so big for us. We can get a place in the sun, which is either... All their territories, which is either Greenland and, and Iceland, or... And I think Jan Mayen, no. Or... Africa, pretty much. It's They have a couple colonies in Africa. Right there, Denmark, that's one. I think they have one or two in, in 
in here as well? Or is that just the Dutch? Oh no, they have St. Th Thomas as well. The USA gains a place in the Sun Cast's belly on Denmark. Expires in December. Let's do it. I think our military is so much bigger. Let's do it. Okay, we're going to stay paused. Pause. We can demand either Iceland and Greenland, Danish Ghana, or Danish West Indies. So yes, those are the only three they have. I I had a complete different idea for this episode, but we're going for it. We're going with the flow. Turn my music down a little bit. There we go. Hopefully it's not too intrusive. So, I'm going to keep paused. Do we have any, any, like, because if I don't pause, they could pro possibly... There's three there. I could very possibly, um... They could ally with Germany while we're waiting. So we're not going to do that. We're going to keep paused right here. These are all commerce raiders. I don't know where I went so wrong, but... Do we have any transport fleets in here? How many? Zero. Okay, what I'm going to do now... Do I have a meeting? Do I have any under construction? None at all. So, what I'm going to do, Norfolk is our naval base, so merge on, build navy, cl and steam transports. Not S Seattle or Portland, but New Orleans, Biloxi, every possible one. Let's turn off... Um, New Orleans and turn on Lewiston. So we have 10 being made. And we can use those 10 transport ships to transport our entire army over to Greenland. Because if we want it, we can easily get it. If they're, they're not allied with Germany, that's the whole point. Um, where's our army? They're down here. Are these the only armies we have? We're, we're going to experience our first real war, I think. Because we have to sail over there, them. We have 24 stack here. They're, they have speed. We're sending them up here. 10 units can hold, or 10 ships can hold 10 units. This has 8 units, so we'll probably have to go back and forth a little bit. Um, U.S. Army has the same amount. 8 units. First Army. Oh, that's all our, those guys, the Southerners. Second Army is also here. And Third Army is right there with four. So let's make two more units. One in New Orleans and one somewhere else. And one in Norfolk itself, I guess. Because they'll all build at the same speed. So we can have 12 and we can transport these guys. And these guys and one of our armies. Um... Actually, I'll leave our U.S. troops in Washington. Leave the others there. And I'm trying to determine, should we wage war now on Denmark? Because th that'll give them time to prepare if they know. Because we can insta-wage war on them now. For a place in the sun. While I would love to get the Danish West Indies, they don't cost a lot. Oh, I forgot we had allies, lol. But... Come on, show it. I'm scrolling my mouse over the call allies thing to try and get it to show. All of my allies are willing to help. Darn. I really don't know who's friendly with De Denmark. If Germany is friendly, they can... Oh my god. Oh no. Oh man. Oh man, this is bad because Germany can get involved and they probably will because they're literally 0 0.7 points off from sphering Denmark. I need an ally now. Um, can I ally any of the great powers right now? Prussia, I can't. Maybe I can? Why won't they accept? I don't care, it's not important. Austria, please tell me somebody will ally me. 
Because if Germany gets in a war with us, we're we're done zoed. Um, darn it. Russia, come on, somebody. Okay, you know what? France. Will anyone ally us? We're already allied or whatever with all of these guys. Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Prussia, increase relations. Because they're just going to go to heck anyways. What do I do? I do want this because look. I mean, if we get Canada, that's just like... That's just icing on the cake, guys. The culture's all Inuit, but it's only 300 people. We could make such a Arctic territory. We could make... We could... Oh, man. They have cores for Scandinavia, Iceland, and Denmark. Or just Denmark and Scandinavia. Um, okay, we don't have any allies other than our guys here. Oh, man. I don't know what to do. Because if I bring all my southern allies into the war, Prussia is definitely going to join. What I'm going to do? This is probably a stupid move. Hmm. It's lower land unit costs right now because we're not using them yet. Oh gosh. Tax the rich. War cost, um, 65 for that, 69, 70 for that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, there we go. Our war cost up a little bit, up a little bit. Full naval cost because we're going to be using our navy. All right, guys. All my navy. All of it. That's not transport because going to go right here. Why can't I? Oh, that's the army. That's why, duh. Okay. Um, I don't want the armies. I want all the naval units. I kind of want those four to unite, but... Okay, fine. Fine, I'll do it like this. What's that guy? That's a Boston. Okay, let's just do it like this. Manually those three units and I'm not on pausing only because I want to get this done before I wage war I have a feeling Germany's going to join anyways but and what moving here is going to do it's not going to necessarily block the 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 Danes but it'll block any German navy that comes out because without their navy they have no way to get to us because we're across an ocean and that's their only naval port so their naval stretch so if we port here we block their naval advances and if we can block the, them with our navy here and capture Greenland and Iceland, it'll be easy peasy to wait for rolling war score. What's their... Um, they have capital ships. One point for capital ships. What are ours? Oh, geez. One for capital ships in our military. How big is... Germany's military. Prussia. They have a gigantic military in comparison to us. 78 to 48. Yeah. So we have to blockade them navally. There's no other way to do it. We might actually have to fight in Prussia. Oi. Alright, we're going to do it. We're going to do it anyways. Those guys are in a fleet. These are all in a fleet. Let's see if we can select... Oh gosh. They're all going right there as well. That's hopefully going to block a German advance. Or, yeah, German advance. We can reorganize them when we get here, but if we have our entire fleet there blocking them, I don't think they can beat us. Hopefully. Okay, you're already going. All right, all right, I'm so hyped. We have to wait for our transport ships to actually go, so it's all up to our navy. I think 
Crush is going to uh, sphere them any second now. So I don't think it's worth it to go... I don't know, I guess... Waging war on them now is worth it. Let's go YOLO it. YOLO it. Denmark, declare war. Place in the sun. Iceland and Greenland. Call all of our allies. I have a feeling Germany's going to join anyways. Let's go. It seems like everyone joined. So hopefully... And Germany hasn't joined them yet. 78 to 19. Germany will probably join very soon, though. So I need all those transport ships now. I have some down here in South America. It's only three, though. It's not a lot, but we can still take... We can split our units up and bring them back. If we... It's not a big deal. Just wait 90 days. Yeah, just wait 90 days. Now, the old man in the sea... Now, waiting on our navy to get there. Looks like most of our navy's here. Germany has not joined yet. That is a good sign. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm... I didn't expect this at all, guys. You got the event when I did, so... I had a complete different idea. I was going to explain infamy and stuff. But this is... If we can pull this off, this will be much better, I think. In the long run. I hadn't even thought about getting... Iceland and Greenland. They're one state together, so... But it gave us the event to wage war on them without getting any infamy, so I'm doing it. And also with these ships, we can kill the Danish ships. By now, Germany's probably sphered them, yes. Oh yeah, they're North Germany. What? Because they sphered Denmark, they formed North, North German Federation. They were Prussia a minute ago. Now our relations have greatly tanked, but... But still... Oh, no, they just joined the war, too. Uh-oh. And they gained that territory right there. Okay. Okay, that makes things more difficult. Um, yes, it does. What we need to do... Immediately, you guys, go here. Block whatever that is down there. Make sure no naval ships... Okay, there are no ships right there now, but I think you can go through Kiel, so I'm not going to risk that. They cannot go through here at all. And then there. Oh, gosh, they're coming. Okay. Oh, yeah, they can go through that. We need all our ships now. Go. Merge. They better have good. They do. They have great things. 18 combat and ships. They're fighting us, and hopefully they're going to lose. Because there's our mother navy. Yes. Oh, they have 17 more ships. Get there now, guys. A Russian ship. Oh, a, a Venezuelan ship coming to our aid. Oh, they're getting wrecked. No, pause. Oh, man. I don't know if you can tell my, by my voice, but I'm... They can get through there. That's what it is, but... I'm very, very hyped now. 40 versus 6. And they... Were they all transport ships? I think they were all transport ships. A clipper fotil. I don't know what that is. It looks like it was a transport ship, though. Uh, oh, man. We're wrecking them. We are... If that Russian ship would get out of the way. Um, real quick, we're going to check... Georgia or Valdosta. If we can get over here. Um, Georgia has aristocrats and capitalists. Five th 45 aristocrats. 4,500, I know. And 100 capitalists. So 4,500 to craftsmen and laborers. They don't have any craftsmen and laborers, I don't think. Oh, they do. They have six craftsmen, so yeah, we'll just choose that. Okay, so we won. We wiped out their entire ten-ship navy. But now I'm worried. Where did those other 16 ships go? I think we get a little bit of war score as well, it tells us. That might actually be what this is. I always thought that was, like, prestige, because it has the prestige star, but I'm not sure. Um, Just TP over there. Alright, now what we have to do 
our mother navy can go in a step further and these guys can stay behind our mother navy has good yeah they have good things as well oh man we could crush the german navy oh we have to go in and help our allies go actually we can sit right here and block these guys there we go we'll help the germans crushing their ship ships how are those steam transports why are they not building because we have no steamer convoys what I don't know oh man I don't know how the trade trade screen works they're in high demand um, we're buying up the stockpile of them though but it's taking a long time okay we need this didn't we build a factory for that and yes we did in Virginia oh man all right and we have craftsmen enabled in Virginia but it's it's so slow so we're buying up all of these. We have to. I mean, darn it. So it's still going to be slow, though. But I think our Navy can hold them off, actually. And what are the projects, real quick? Railroad, support them all. Done. Is, we can hold them here. That's great. The Venezuelans are on Dutch land, but they're, they'd be stupid if they went against the Germans. Come on. Don't do it, Venezuela. Don't lose war score for us. We're going to merge these guys, because why not? I just merged all the ships. I can just reorganize them later again for the umpteenth time. They're all commerce raiders, which is pretty good. I don't know why they're considered second class with, with um, like frigates instead of men of war. These are like half men of war, half frigates. That's fine. If we actually surround them completely, we get a bonus for... We have four war score just from our blockades and battles. That's great. How about no status quo? So yeah, guys, I my mind just blew when I got that event. I apologize. Like I've seen the event before, but usually it's for like Britain or or some other country like for African territory and it doesn't matter much. And the reason we got that, why it says territorial stuff when we have nothing in Africa, is because a lot of our, our western half is still territories instead of states, like Montana, Wyoming, South Dakota. You know, that's why we got that event. It wasn't like I hacked it into the game or anything. We can invite Mexico to our sphere. We're going to do that for now. Coke production. Anyone else trying to sphere them? Yes, Spain is, so let's just boot him out. Okay, one of the ships is done. We need ten. Or, well, we only need eight. So as soon as we have eight, we're ready. And that... Oh, we didn't even send that guy over, lol. But we have three ships here, so we can send it over before... They're all going to be done about the same time, though, right? I don't know, we'll send these guys over as well. Because that'll put us at the 12 we need when we get done with these. Or even so sooner. Sorry if I'm stuttering, I'm just... Oof. I was not expecting that for this episode, but this is what we're getting. Knights of the Golden Circle, they like... Whatever. Charlotte, sure, consciousness. Why are we still losing money? We have the wartime taxes enabled... Um, I guess because our naval stuff is so high. Let's uh, let's reduce the administrative stuff. Our administration is pretty good. 60%. That should give us plenty. Idaho. Um, let's merge all these guys. Hopefully we'll get one with speed because we don't need attack with these guys. Eh, whatever. I don't think we can change the general. Because that's literally all we're waiting on. Our navy is holding off that whatever it's called, the bay or the... whatever. That's fine. We have plus 10 speed as well. We have 8, so we can hold it. Let's just go with this. And we won. We killed 9 of their ships. One got through. Oh, and then... Oh man. 
Okay, some of those are low level, but we should be fine. To transport to Iceland, or Greenland, whatever. Uh, the Venezuelans are already up there doing it. Is there any naval bases here? Now let's go over here. We can land on whatever that is. Suppress the society. Actually, let's just go for Iceland, because it's one province and whatever. We're not even going to try and fight Germany unless we absolutely have to. That's the whole point here. Um, so, yeah. I don't know if you just heard that little ringing noise. It was a timer. I'm setting timers because I'm trying to time my episodes. Although we're at war with Germany, we're going to try and increase our relations with countries. Uh, increase relations with Austria. France. We already have great relation with France and they still won't ally us. Um, free staters, let them settle. Russia. Because you see guys, my plan, I don't know if you have noticed, but we're not even going to go after Germany unless we absolutely have to. I plan to keep... Where's my military? My navy? What is this? Attrition! No! I thought, oh god, oh my god, no. My whole navy just died, by the way. They all just died of attrition. Oh no. Oh no. Because you see that 1%, that means they're they're done. They're toast. 23% attrition, oh god. That means they slowly die over time. Okay, okay, okay. Do I have ships building? I think they're all built, so military, navy... Except for Seattle and Portland. Well, actually... No, I don't want steam transports. Duh. Okay, yes, I want to cancel. Commerce Raiders. All. Get out rid of Seattle and Portland. Oh, man. This is bad. And I can build those at everywhere. So, also build those everywhere. Okay. Okay. This is bad. Because now we have no... Our, our Navy, our whole plan, just died. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We're fine. We're fine. Send these guys. I don't want to send them over there. I think they start taking attrition when they get into a battle, and that's why I was so messed up. Because they got into a battle, and I didn't think of that. Okay. What are you going there? But that was my whole plan. I was going to blockade this so the Germans didn't get through. Because if they get through, we're kind of dead. Right? All those guys are on zero organization. Zero strength. That's why we lost. They're going all the way back to the U.S. So they're going to die on the way back. Nice. Where are they going? They're going to... They died. That was what that disappearing was. They just died. Okay. Pretty much. Are they gaining attrition? I think they are. Once our men conquer... Yeah, they conquered that, so that's our waypoint. Okay. Well, we're not docking these guys. Actually, we are. Just for a quick second. So they can dock. We can reload. Head over to here. And drop them off there. Because the faster we conquer Iceland and Greenland, the better. Because now I have to be on the defensive. If their navy comes over to us, I'm toast. I'm sending that little three unit over, but... Max national focus, nice. Uh, we need some iron, some, uh, yeah, combat with. Some army techs, I don't care, but... The sooner we gain these two, the better, because then we'll start rolling war score. Which, you see how we're on 3%? Once we fulfill 75%, we start slowly gaining war score. So, hopefully that's what's going to win it for us. Because if the Germans get their ships out, we're toast. They had about the same amount of ships as I did, but... Okay, move these guys somewhere else. Um, six ships, we can move these little guys. So, go ahead. Humiliate Cassus Belly on Spain. I don't want that right now. I'm in war with Germany, so thanks. 
No thanks. Okay, come on. And even if I look to see what the Germans are up to, it's not going to help me any. I'm going to move these guys over to... I don't know. I'll actually just move them there so they can help. Our guys are fine here, but I'll move them back to there. Oh, duh. Darn. Parma announced today that it has located the famed white flower that will henceforth be known as the Parmese Empress. In light of this discovery, our own net botanical expedition is very limited outside to so finding anything that will rival the Parmese discovery. Okay, that's fine. What I need to do is just block the Germans from getting out. That was my plan the whole time, and I need to stick to that. I just need to remember attrition, and and if I can survive... Are my ships there? No, they're not. And they're about to conquer that, so we're about to have 75%, pretty much. Um, our n third national focus is going to be population um, factories. We need more people in Georgia to fill that factory, because there's nobody there right now. So let's fill Georgia up with, with craftsmen right now to get us glass. So what's the point of having factories if nobody's going to do that? Can we sphere Hawaii? Yes, we can. Okay. I'm going to try and end the episode off in a couple minutes, guys, but I don't think that's going to happen until we end this war. So I apologize for a little bit of a long episode, but we're pretty much about to get Greenland and Iceland, hopefully. Political doctrine. Political religion is the do doctrine that ties religion and political means together. Knowledge is often viewed as divinely given, and religious truth cannot be disapproved. Political reform desire plus ten. Can I just sail over here, and I'll help uh, the USCA? Because obviously, even though I have all these allies, our armies are nowhere near big enough to combat Germany. That's, I mean, I know that without question. If they decide to attack me now, I'm toast, but heh, they put it right there. That's all German, that's all Russian ships, right? Not German. Sorry, I totally just missed that. That, whatever that was. Brazilian ships, we're about to conquer this, that's not the problem. And I'll help the USEA instead. Okay. How are our ships building? Some of them are building, I hear it. Commerce Raiders. They're all taking a long time because we have no artillery, no clipper convoys. They're slowly, slowly building. Because they're buying stuff for one at a time because we don't have enough of it, apparently. And we're just going to keep our troops here to try and protect it. I haven't gotten a notice that my other guys have died yet. I'm leaving those guys in Washington to protect protect it in the case of an invasion. Though if the Germans decide... Oh, is that part of Forgot the mic went out. I, I said, oh, is that part of it too? Didn't know that. Whatever this is. Pharaoh is part of Iceland and Greenland. I'm glad Venezuela caught that, because I didn't. I mean, that definitely can't hold up against a German fleet. Do they have any... Oh, they mobilized. That would have been a smart idea. I, I didn't even think of that. They have zero capital ships in comparison. Ne we don't have a capital ship either, apparently. Or it's not counted. I don't know. Okay, we're about to conquer this. And then we'll help, actually. Typhoid fever. Mm, most commonly transmitted through the ingestion of contaminated food or water, exasperated by combinations of poor hygiene, cramped living, and lackluster public sanitation, typhoid fever was one of the, mo the major killers of the 19th century. In Chicago alone, 174 deaths per, per 100,000 was, in 1891, caused by typhoid fever. The disease, which generally starts of as a mild fever, will over the course of a few weeks manifest itself in internal bleedings and delirium, potentially causing death. 
While improvements in sanitary conditions eventually came to more or less eradicate the disease in the developed world, at least one American state was nevertheless hit hard in 1847. Stuff, stuff, stuff breaks people die or quarantine the affected area. Man, they gained two militancy for that. Well, I have a low militancy, that's fine. Plus, their population is low. What we're going to do with these guys, we're going to move them over there, actually. Move these transport ships, the eight, move them to this coast, and then move them to that little island to help the Venezuelans conquer it. So, while we're waiting to do that, I know we're at the 30 minute mark, 35 minute, I apologize, but leave them be, suppress society, but I really, really want to get Iceland and Greenland, like I hadn't even thought of this for this game, but the event, you literally saw it when I did, it presented itself to us, so I'm not gonna just abandon it, it's, because at the time Germany wasn't allied with them, oh man, our army's gonna lose here, I think. Yeah, the Congress is getting hit hard compared to the whatever that ship is. They have men of war, that's why. We have the frigate class. They have two of each. But we got some good rolls. Looks like the Brazilian Navy is coming to help. Maybe they can crush the Germans. And they're officially Germans now instead of Prussians. Retreat. Can I retreat? Is that an option? Come on. Brazil, help! Oh, Danish ships as well. There are two ships left. Get the heck out of there. Go to, go to Denmark or Iceland, whatever. How many ships do we have here? I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot, 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 idiot. I also need to make an artillery factory somewhere to make up for the use of that. I can't make an artillery factory actually because I'm not... That stinks kinda. Reactionary... Cannot make... Can any of our guys make factories? Build factories? No. Build factories? No. Build factories? Yes. Honestly, I think I'm going to try for Southern Democrats here somewhere. Use one of my national focus on New York and reactionary. Instead of Pennsylvania for now. Just for now, guys. They're going to vote Whig anyway. So we're in Pennsylvania. Let's switch our thing from Virginia to Pennsylvania for now. Put conservative from Virginia. 